Hello everyone, hope everyone is going well. I haven't been on social media for a, a fair while now, just because I just haven't got on it. Um, running wise and all that, unfortunately I pinged my car on Monday night while running. And what was happening was I was getting sharp pains just in the inside of my car. So after about five or six days or whatever it was, I decided that nah, I'm pulling the pin and then that was it. Stupidly, I went for another little jog two days later. Two k's in, done. So I just thought, right, oh, I'm having two weeks off, and that's it. Make sure it's right. This morning, I went to Berwick Springs Park Run, and I volunteered there, so that was quite fun. Even though I did stuff up a little bit with it, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. Um, so what we've done today, because I got no footy on today. I've driven down to Cape Patterson, so this is somewhere I've actually never been here before. It's about an hour and a half from Melbourne, southeast of Melbourne, out that way, in Zimbalock, just behind those rocks over there. One thing is probably five, ten minutes to be right, and that way as well. We're going to go have a look at the beach and all that here, because that's what we've come here. So it's somewhere different for me, and let's go have a look around. down at the beach here now you can actually see the wind wheels saving club so this is where they do all their sailing and life saving down where we are now so there's also other different beaches around which eagles nest is to be left so that's that way as i'm pointing towards Imbalok, where those windmills are and everything like that so that's probably in between Imbalok and cape Patterson, which is obviously where we are now so it's a magnificent sight definitely get down here and we will see you very shortly back to where we parked and this is called the hut view of cape patterson so why it's called hut view it was named to celebrate the huts that stood along between the coastline between Imbalok and where we are now. So the huts, I don't know how big they were, but looking at these photos, they look pretty old. And also looking at it, I think I might have been back from where we were going past. It was locally known Brown's Bay. I don't know how long that was to go. So from 1910, they served as well as holiday accommodation, so that's going back to when my workers were on strike, or they weren't working at the time, it came to home. So during the Depression, which was back in the 30s, so that way they all had to survive. So, and it would have been very, very hard back then because the Great Depression was obviously a tough time for everybody back in those days. So that's sort of why this is called the Hut View. So now we're going to go watch a bit of footy. We'll see you there. Just arrived to Dalston where my cousins are playing. It's around halfway through the third quarter of twos at the moment, so I think two are winning. So where I was, Kate Patterson, it was only 10 minutes that one. So it's just lucky that they're playing here. And it's just nice to have a week off and catch up with family. So we'll see how they go.
Today, went out to Cape Patterson for a bit of a look, well, around the beach, and then we watched my two cousins play footy, 10 minutes down the road, and they won by around 15 goals. So, pretty long drive to go from Cape Patterson to Dalston to watch him play, and tonight, I'm at Lang Lang watching my sister's dogs, because they've gone away, so... That's me for tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Camera. <laughs>